by the end of this video, you'll know how to change the font on your website from something like this to something like this. I'm using Google Fonts for this and I haven't downloaded anything. All right, let's get started. So looking at the documentation from Next.js, there's a chapter on font optimization. It's under Docs, Basic Features, Font Optimization. Usage. To add a web font to your Next.js, add the font to a custom document. So notice, they've given you the indication. Under the Pages folder, you have to create an underscore document.js file, and then copy and paste this code. So let's do that. Inside of Pages folder, right click, and create a new file called underscore document.js. Now in this file, we're going to copy all the code from here and paste it inside of this file. When you refresh, nothing's gonna happen because it's still using the default font. The default font is coming from this location, fonts.googleapis.com, this line of code. We're gonna change this now. So here's your mini challenge. We're going to use Google Fonts. So I want you to open the site for Google Fonts. Hope that was easy. Well, you have to go to fonts.google.com. The second challenge, I want you to look for a font called Indie Flower. Well, the easiest way is you can search for font, type in Indie Flower, and here it is. This is the one that we want. If you don't know the font that you want, you can have a look, we have categories. Let's say you want only the handwriting. And from here, you can select the one that you want. Indie Flower is a handwritten font. So you can select it from here. Now there are different styles for every font. For this, we only have one style. So we want to select this style. Once you've done that, you can click this part and it's going to give you the code. So you copy all of this and you want to replace this link, delete it. Just make sure you're not deleting the head just the link and paste it. You'll notice these red squigglies because when you copy, these are not closed tags. So once I close these tags, the red squigglies are gone. Nothing happened. Why didn't you have this font? So here's your mini challenge. You gotta figure out why didn't the font change to the Indie Flower. There's something to do with CSS files. Notice in, inside of styles, we have the global.css. Inside here, we have font family, and in the font family, Indie Flower is not mentioned. So you want to mention Indie Flower, like that, save this, and notice we have the Indie Flower font. So that's how you do it. All right, so here's a challenge for you. I want you to change this font from Indie Flower to any font that you like. This will be a challenge for this video. All right, so hope it was easy. Now you know how to add web fonts using Google Fonts to your Next.js site.